Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Old Science! Science you can do right at home! I'm just getting a solar melanin makeover. Ha <laughs> ha! And going over today's science file! And today's science file tools! What is the difference between phenotype and genotype? Well, that's a super awesome question. I'm thinking, try this! You will need a pen, a friend, or a book, and a measuring tape. Okay, here's what you are gonna do. As soon as you get out of bed. Okay, all right, no, not, not the first thing you do, but you know, try to make it as close as you can to the time you get out of bed. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna measure yourself up against the wall. Ha-ha, <laughs> here we go! Okay, first thing in the morning, I'm 183 centimeters. Okay, now we gotta wait because you can't do the second half of this science file until later tonight. So, you know, you're gonna have to go find something, you know, to do. You know, like, you know, riding your bike, play video games all day, gardening, playing frisbee at the park, because you got, you know, 12 hours here to pass. And that's, that's a long time. Okay, now you gotta measure yourself again just before you go to bed! Whoa, would you look at that? Before I go to bed, I'm... 182 centimeters. Whoa! Now this morning I was 183. So if my genes say that I'm supposed to be 183 centimeters, why did I shrink? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason you are shorter at night is because throughout your day of doing activities, your body has to fight gravitational forces. Gravity pulls your body down, which causes the cartilage in your knee, spine, and other areas to get compressed and lose fluids, causing you to shrink down one centimeter. The reason you are taller in the morning is because while you're lying down asleep, the cartilage in your knee, spine, and other places reabsorb synovial fluids that are needed. This absorption process causes tiny amounts of expansion, which cause you to regain that one centimeter, making you one centimeter taller in the morning than you are at night. A genotype is the genetic blueprint for an organism, such as your body's genetic height. However, all living organisms are affected by the environment, such as gravity affecting your height. We call these changes phenotypes. The major difference between phenotype and genotype is that your genotypes will never change. The environment can change your body, such as causing you to shrink or darken your skin, but the genetic information for your height and skin will always stay the same. Wearing high heels or adding socks to your shoes to increase your height is also a phenotype. So now you know more about geno and phenotypes. You know, being taller in the morning than you are at night is why science is so cool.